the schedule for one fall. perpetual bad mood, the heat sick Puerto Rican, Mike Santiago, has uh, been a polarizing individual for well over a decade, but it's uh, very hard to argue with success. The recent win streak has seen Santiago survive the likes of Sonic Co, Levi Bates, Zip Dice, and a number of others, although you put an asterisk next to all of those victories because Santiago will do anything to win and that's a very non-endearing smile. Would you trust that man? Would you buy a used car from that man? Santiago with his trademark flag. Such an ego, he needs a flag devoted all to himself. But a very, very tough test awaits him. So great to see Shannon Moore become more and more active in professional wrestling in recent years after a hiatus. We saw him at Prestige for the first time a couple of years ago, our second ever event back in Hermiston. And Shannon Moore, a staple of the WCW Cruiserweight Division, WWE's as well, a stop at Impact Wrestling, resident reject of professional wrestling. Everything from Matt Hardy's MFR, attitude follower, to part of a boy band in three counts. Shannon Moore has done it all. A man who's been active for well over two decades, but still a young veteran. Started as a young teenager on the Hardy compound, part of Omega Wrestling in North Carolina. And has never looked back since. Santiago brings the table to combat the unique offense of Shannon Moore and vice versa. Is Shannon Moore and his veteran instincts prepared for whatever Santiago may have up his sleeve? Santiago has about four fans. He may have paid them. of Shannon Moore who is decidedly more than four people decide to respond to Shannon Moore much deservedly so. There's been a tag team partner the likes of Matt Hardy and Shane Helms and Jimmy Yang. Learn from the best, wrestle the best. Protege of Jeff Hardy once upon a time. Give him the count. Nothing's happened yet, but Santiago already running his mouth and complaining, and it's not getting him anywhere. Ref Aubrey, an elite official all her own. Not taking guff from anybody. And uh, Aubrey Edwards is going to do a great job of calling this thing right down the middle. Regardless of the attitude of Santiago, you got to believe. 
And there's some attitude for you. From the Prince of Punk, Shannon Moore. There's children. There's one. So Eagle picks him out to get a conscience. Not going to help in this battle. What's done is done. Aggressive collar and elbow tie up. Santiago sends Shannon Moore. Back to the corner, an aggressive break. Well, you, you heard Santiago say, I'm the Shogun, in reference to the Shogun of Tacoma moniker that he has adopted. The Shogun brings back uh, thoughts and memories of the bygone era and ancient uh, Japanese type fighters and warriors and Santiago's style may not quite be as reminiscent of that as he would hope but he is a one at all cost type without question Shannon Moore the leg trip pace quick as the advantage Prince of Punk in this exchange deep arm drag nicely done Shannon Moore's always possessed very underrated arm drags the way he can get underneath his opponent and drive them over. Certainly very impressive as Santiago elevates more. And got the knee, did Shannon. Overhead neck breaker into the cover. Two count only. And Santiago may be taking an early shower. He may be headed straight for the parking lot. This has not gone the way Santiago's wanted it to. Watch Shannon Moore. Moore wanted to take a chance early. Thought Santiago wouldn't see it coming, but he did. That forearm shot shut Shannon Moore down. That twisting neck breaker on top of the cover. Shannon Moore up as quickly as he can. Santiago peppering Shannon Moore with right hands. And this is what Santiago's going to want to do. You got to ground Shannon Moore. You got to dictate the tempo. Slow the pace. Don't let Shannon Moore catch you off guard. Don't let Shannon Moore hit and run. See Shannon Moore with 2B knee written on his wrist tape. That's his philosophy and mantra that has carried him through life. He is a unique individual. Doesn't subscribe to anybody's uh, preconceived notions, any trends, anything society tells him he needs to be. Shannon Moore is just him. And now he's the victim of a drop kick from Mike Santiago. Maybe Shannon can consult the... Wait, there's a cover. Shannon can consult his book of Dillagaff for a strategy of how to get by Santiago. I'll let folks at home figure that one out. Santiago a neck vice. Has that neck crimp. And uh, the body's going to go where the head goes. And if the head is uh, obstructed, there's not much to do. Shannon Moore fights to his feet. Santiago caught and oh! Caught Shannon on the rebound with a heel kick. Nicely done. Is this enough? No. Near fall. And Santiago. I don't know if I want to say getting desperate, but certainly getting dirty. Getting underhanded. Doing whatever he can to maintain control. Shannon Moore, certainly going to be victim to the power game as Santiago has a chance to open his match up in this direction. And another smart maneuver by the Shogun of Tacoma, twisting that ankle. It's going to certainly affect the mobility and quickness of Shannon Moore moving forward. Santiago the boot. 
as Moore got to his feet. South Dakota shut that down in a hurry. Oh, man, Moore hit the buckle hard. The entire ring shifted. And Santiago was there to follow through. Punts Moore right in the chest cavity. This could be it. No. Half a count away, but not enough. Jammed in a bad way. Santiago choking Moore against that steel ring post. Again, taking issue with our official, but it's the official's call. These matchups go. If she wants this match in the ring, she'll get it in the ring. Well, Aubrey not going to take any guff from anybody. And uh, thankful the fans in that corner have cleared already. Anticipating, anticipating the worst. We've seen some fans caught in a, a line of fire already. And Moore just coaxed Santiago hip lock into the chairs. Santiago is hurt. <laughs> breaks the count. Nobody's counting foul, but it stinks of a veteran just to make sure a double down and keep himself in this match. Santiago sent back in. But what does he have left after sprawling across a dozen or two dozen chairs? Caught Shannon Moore coming into Santiago. Shannon was going springboard. Shogun was a step ahead. Suplex nicely done. And is Santiago going to take a chance? Drops the elbow, but Shannon Moore got the knees up. Santiago did not connect where he was aiming. And Moore may have an opportunity if he can get the cobwebs clear and get back into this. Shannon is, is to his feet just barely. Santiago chin first, more the coastline. Second time. Shannon Moore feeling it now. The resiliency is on point. Back elbow nicely done. Reversal. Shannon sent Santiago to the floor. It is all Shannon Moore. Suicide dive. And again, the fans scatter to avoid getting wiped out, but Santiago, no such luck. Shannon Moore, high risk, kicks the halo! A Shannon Moore specialty, not enough! And Shannon Moore realizing how tough the competition here in the Northwest is, what is it going to take to put Mike Santiago away? He's feeling it. So elevated. Down into the final cut. Is this enough? No. Half a count away. Shannon slips the shoulder up at the last second. Go, 
meniscus forearm. Just rocked the Prince of Punk. The knee caught Shannon High as well. Is this enough? No! And the frustration on Santiago speaks volumes. How tough this matchup has been and the resolve that Shannon Moore has shown. And Moore is perched precariously. It could be do or die for both these athletes. Moore, look out! Power bomb, Santiago hung on! Power bomb, Shannon Moore got it! The knee! Makes an open driver! Shannon Moore gets the victory! Santiago's had a dubious win streak in recent months, but it gets snapped by the Prince of Punk in his prestige return. First time we've seen Shannon Moore in a couple of years, but he comes back with a vengeance.